morning, beloved viewers. Welcome to another edition of our daily devotional reading on Gov TV. Gov TV is the official television ministry of the Gospel Faith Mission International, Gov Family, the church with the word for the world. Today is Saturday, 10th of January, 2015. Our devotional reading, as it has always been, is from the Sunday School Manual of the Gospel Faith Mission International. Go family, and we richly enrich your life. For access to the text of this division, devotion, visit the links on the screen where you can get further information on these materials. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for giving us a day such as this. We trust you to guide us, <coughs> lead us, and direct us as we go into your word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are in lesson six. How to get a grasp on your Bible. Uh, the series of devotionals this week is to help us to gain a better understanding of our Bible. And the topic for adults is let the word of God dwell richly in you. Today's topic is Apply the Bible to life experiences. I will be reading from Matthew 5, 16 to 24. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one title shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men to do so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill. And whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in the danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother had ought against thee, leave thee thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Praise God. Now, uh, the background to the devotion today is uh, what we popularly call the Beatitudes. Jesus was on the mountain top and he was given a sermon on the mount. And he now told uh, the crowd of the benefits that were accrue to them if they obeyed the words of God. Blessed are so, 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 blessed are this, blessed, blessed are that. But then he also taught spiritual excellence, which means that we have to go beyond the normal requirements of the law to actually show forth the light of Christ. Now let me read from the devotional. God's law for man, as written in the Bible, will not change from one generation to another. And it is by them that he will judge man. First, from here we discover that God is unchanging. 
Man can change, but God will not change. God will not bend his rules or laws because of man. The Bible says God is not man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent. Then further down, we are now told about the attitudes of different people to the word of God. Many people neither care to know nor obey these laws. Some people don't care to know what's in the Bible. Uh, if you are a Christian and you don't care to even know what the Bible contains, uh, you will need to shift from this category. There's another large group of people who have had knowledge of laws but do not apply the laws to their lives. Some have a knowledge of what is required, but they don't practice it. They don't do it. It's like someone who is sick and gets a prescription from the doctor and yet fails to use the drugs. There are even those who teach other people the laws of God, but do not practice what they teach. Some teach, but don't practice. We are admonished not to fool ourselves by just listening to the word without putting them into practice. James 1.22 Jesus likens a man who does not practice what he teaches as a foolish builder who builds his house without proper foundation. The house will collapse when there is onslaught by live storms. Spiritual maturity is evidenced by correct and faithful application of God's word to our daily lives. So it's when we practice and apply the word of God to our life that we benefit from what the word of God is saying. And that gives us the strength to withstand the storms of life and to face the challenges of life. Do you twist God's word to switch your whips? God does not change his standards. So, here today we have been told to apply the word of God to our lives. Our point of emphasis says, be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. It means that whosoever hears the word of God and does not do them, deceives himself. So we are going to pray. Our prayer point says, let my heart be blameless regarding your statutes that I may not be ashamed. Let my heart be blameless regarding your statutes that I may not be ashamed. We want to pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we receive the grace to be doers of your word. Lord, we ask that as we devote our time to reading and hearing your word, you will speak to us and we will practice your word and our life will be better for it in Jesus' name. I believe you have been blessed. Join us once again tomorrow by 6 a.m. as we look at the word of God and take another intuitive look into another uh, portion of the scripture. If you have questions, you can email or call any of us on our dedicated lines as shown on the screen. God bless you.